Hi, my name is Danielle Anderson, and I'm a dietetic intern with the Maricopa County Department of Public Health. I have 12 years of experience teaching English in my own classroom and two years of experience as a nutrition educator guest teacher. This lesson is designed for the Maricopa County Head Start program, ages three to five years. In this lesson, students will be introduced to the five MyPlate food groups, and they will see examples of the types of foods that fit into each category. They will associate colors with individual food groups, and they will begin placing foods into matching groups. They will also have the opportunity to be active while practicing their newly learned skills. This lesson does include some outside materials, but they are all either free to order with Team Nutrition or printable. Let's take a look at some of the materials that are needed for this lesson. Activity 1 suggests the Eat Smart to Play Hard large poster. This can either be printed if sites have the resources to do so, or, and this is what I suggest, order some through Team Nutrition. If the site participates in a USDA child nutrition program, resources can be ordered for free. The resources do take some time to arrive, so be sure to order in advance. And definitely check out the other resources, all free, that are available for nutrition education. A no poster alternative is also an option by simply creating a blank MyPlate on the whiteboard beforehand. You will also need some dry erase markers for this activity. Next are the Dairy Council printable food models. Over the years, the Dairy Council has created a number of versions of their food models. Their most recent version, which is linked in the lesson plan, also provides a bunch of activities for using the food models. I would suggest laminating each food item. It takes some time up front, but it's definitely worth it. Students really get attached to the different items, and I've absolutely seen numerous students put their mouths on the food models. If laminated, they can easily be sanitized after. The materials needed for Activity 2 are pretty simple. The USDA provides printable MyPlate coloring sheets in both English and Spanish. Make sure to have enough for each child along with some crayons or color pencils for them to use. Next are the companion resources for this lesson. First up is the take home materials in both English and Spanish. This handout can be found in the USDA Serving Up My Plate curriculum. It's technically a three-page document, but page two provides a nice little Healthy Choices Made Easier resource and is perfect for some additional information connected to this lesson. Next is Scrambled Egg Super by Dr. Seuss, a possible companion read. It tells the story of Peter T. Hooper, who wants to make the best tasting scrambled eggs, so he searches all over tasting and testing different types of eggs. The other choice for a companion read is Eating the Alphabet, Fruits and Vegetables from A to Z. In this book, preschoolers are introduced to fruits and veggies from all around the world, all while learning upper and lowercase letters. Let's talk a little bit about our learning objectives. Each activity has its own objective. The first two are nutrition-based, and the last is also nutrition-based while providing a physical activity component. So the first objective, children identify the names of MyPlate food groups and learn how to recognize different foods from each group. For activity two, children learn that trying new foods and eating a variety of food from each food group is healthy and provides energy to grow and be active. Activity three, children locate and identify examples of foods from each food group in a timed scavenger hunt style activity. Next is our lesson introduction, Don't Yuck My Yum. As teachers, we always want to make sure the learning environment feels welcoming and inclusive. When talking about food preferences, these practices are incredibly important. We never want children to feel embarrassed about the things that they like, and this is a norm that we have to teach and create. Begin the lesson with some version of this opening. Today we're going to talk about food and we're going to share some of our favorites. It is very important that we don't yuck anyone else's yum. It's okay if you don't like the same food as your friend or anyone else in class, but we need to be respectful. 
because we don't want to make anyone else feel bad. For our anticipatory set, the teacher will ask students in a large group setting to share their favorite food or a food they like a lot. Students can participate by raising their hands or by using whatever classroom norms are already in place. This should take no more than two minutes. Next, the teacher will ask students to pair share or share with their tables why that food is their favorite. The teachers can provide examples like, I love watermelon because it's so sweet, or I like fried chicken because the outside is crunchy. The goal is to encourage details beyond the food item tasting good, although that's okay too. And this portion should also take no more than two minutes. Now we're all ready and primed for our first activity. The Eat Smart and Play Hard poster should already be hanging or a blank My Plate is drawn on the whiteboard. The teacher will say, raise your hand if you have heard that there are five food groups. The teacher will then point to the poster. The teacher will then ask the children if anyone can name a food group and write any correct answers onto the poster into the corresponding sections using the dry erase markers. If laminated, the markers will wipe right off for repeated use. Be sure to use the colors suggested by MyPlate as we will use these same colors throughout the lesson and any lessons moving forward. Fruits are in red, veggies are green, dairy is blue, grains are orange, and protein is purple. Next, using the food models, the teacher will hold up two or three easily recognizable examples and ask, which of these is an example of a fruit? And then taping the correct example into the fruit section. The teacher will continue this back and forth questioning with each food group until all five food groups have examples. Once the poster is full, the teacher will say, each food group gives our body different things we need to move, be healthy, and be strong. And this is why we should always try to eat new foods from each food group. Now we're ready to move into activity two. Teachers will pass out MyPlate blank coloring sheets and crayons or color pencils. Step by step, the teacher will guide students to color in each section with the appropriate color. Available colors can be pre-sorted to only have those needed for this lesson. This will help reduce time students might otherwise be spent looking for the right color. Teacher will say, red for fruit goes here, and will point to the top left space. Then, blue for dairy goes here, into the circle, and points to the circle. The teacher will continue guiding and prompting students until all food groups have their colors. If there is any remaining time, provide a bunch of food model examples onto each table and allow students to draw and color foods onto their coloring plates. This could also be an extension activity or a review for a later time. Time for activity three. For this activity, a decent sized outdoor space is suggested. Prior to beginning, one staff member will need to head outside with a predetermined set of food models. They will proceed to hide the food models throughout the outdoor space. Once students go outside, students will be assigned a starting spot. This can be the same for all participating students or unique to each child. Teacher will say, I'm setting a timer to one minute, find an example of a fruit as quick as you can and bring it back. After the first round, adjust the time as needed. Teacher will say, the timer is set again, try to find a vegetable. This can be repeated with the other food groups or continue just practicing with fruits and vegetables. Older preschoolers can be challenged to find an example from each food group. Be sure to include children in the cleanup and collection of food models once the activity is completed so that the food models can be used again and again. In order to close out this lesson, we want to highlight some of what was covered. The teacher can ask questions like, how many food groups are there, and allow children to respond. The teacher will want to restate, that's correct, there are five food groups. 
The teacher can ask, why should we eat foods from each food group? And allow children to respond. The teacher will restate, that's correct. We eat foods from each food group so that we can be healthy, strong, and give our body the energy it needs to move. Lastly, teachers can hold up example food models and ask students to pick a food they have not yet tried, but that they want to. And that will end this Head Start lesson. I hope everyone enjoys learning about food groups. Thank you and have a great day.